Department. Our field of four will shortly be cut down to three as the number four seeded Central Connecticut State Blue Devils take on the number three seeded LIU Blackbirds. With Krasnowicki starting right here on this very field. Yeah, big game pitcher, and that's why they feel comfortable putting him in an elimination game. And this is poked through the left side for a base hit. Sean Miller Jones with the RBI scoring Pat Epps. And we crack the scoreless seal here in the bottom of the seventh. Central takes a 1 0 lead. And a great piece of hitting by Sean Miller Jones as Epps will get some much needed love from the teammates here as he fought off three pitches in a row, spoiling good pitch after good pitch from McCormick until lining a line drive base hit. If you're Marrero, do you take here too? You probably think about it, absolutely. Here's the 3 1. He swings. It's a chopper to third. Tough play for Wells. He bobbles it, and it'll allow the tying run to score. Mitch Wells coming in. May have picked his head up to look to see if he would have had a play uh, at home to try to get the lead runner. Instead, he misses, mishandles the ball, doesn't come up with anything, and Long Island has tied this game 1-1 here in the eighth. Zerf, the 0-1. They come inside, and that hits him. And the hit-by-pitch will bring in the go-ahead run here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Two to one. Central with a one-run lead. The pitch, swing and a miss. He strikes him out. Zafatsky finishes off the game with a strikeout. And the Central Connecticut State Blue Devils, the defending champions, stay alive with a 2-1 win in this elimination showdown. They knock out the LIU Blackbirds. 2 10 and 2 for Central Connecticut State 1 6 and 0 oh, the line for the LIU Blackbird Central survives and advances they live to play another day and downstairs to chat with the victorious Blue Devils is our own Ed Acapinti. Thank you very much, Craig. Happy to be joined now by Todd Zavatsky, the winning pitcher for Central Connecticut State in this elimination game in the 2011 NEC Baseball Tournament. Todd, take us through that last inning. The, the, the one runner got on. You were able to pitch around it. Why don't you take us through the sequence? Well, first, I walked a guy, which I'd never want to do, lead off the batter. But then I bared down and tried to throw strikes and let my other teammates make the plays. Now you guys are no strangers to, el to elimination games. You seem to be every year staying alive, continuing to advance. What does that mean for this team trying to defend the NEC championship? It means a lot to us that we try our, every, every game we try harder, hard, and we just want to win every game. And coming through, through this game is keep us keep us. Safe. And now you advance to tomorrow's first game to either take on Mammoth or Sacred Heart. You guys going to hang around here, watch the game? I know you're very familiar with both of those teams. Yeah. Well, um, we're probably going to stick around, watch the game. We're really um, curious who's going to win. They're both great teams, though. Take us through the sequence on the, on the double play that you were able to start with, the bases loaded in the eighth inning. Well, uh, first of all, I, I wanted to get a double play, so I just kept throwing strikes, keep it low. And then when it came back to me, I just wanted to keep in front of me and just get, get one out. And then we got two, actually. Well, congratulations not only on that play, but getting this win today. And good luck in the elimination game tomorrow at noon. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Eddie. The Central Connecticut State Blue Devils stay alive. They live to play another day. They will play 12 noon tomorrow in an elimination game. Once again, they will meet the loser of our next game coming up between Monmouth and Sacred Heart. The Blue Devils, the defending champions, they came from the loser's bracket last year to win the championship. That's what they're looking to do again this year. Savatsky, excellent job in relief today, picking up the victory. It's his seventh win of the season. He faced two batters yesterday, had a much, much uh, big, bigger effort here today uh, coming out and getting the win and shutting down the LIU threat in that ninth inning. And for the Blackbirds, a great season. They doubled up their win total a year ago. They finished with a winning record overall for the first time since 2000. They make their first tournament appearance since 2000, but it all comes to an end here this afternoon. They're the first team to pack their bags and head back to Brooklyn. So then there were three. Central Connecticut State, they know they'll have a game tomorrow. It's Monmouth and Sacred Heart coming up about one hour from now with a berth in the championship game on the line, we hope, you will stay with us. So until uh, about eh, almost 4 o'clock, this has been a special PAC Network production. To learn more, you can log on to PACnetwork.com. And for Ed Acapinti and our entire PAC Network crew, this is Craig D'Amico. You've been watching the 2011 NEC Baseball Championship here on PAC Network and NortheastConference.tv. So long for now from Norwich.